Marek's vaccination for backyarders. First thing to do is to have a clean area away from uh, feather dander to do all the work in. Next thing to do is to get everything prepared. And this means getting the vaccine, having a water bath um, at the correct temperature, which is 28 degrees, and some way of measure, being able to measure that as well. Having the diluent pouch here, which is sterile inside the, the bag, having the needles needed uh, to, to transfer the vaccine from the ampule into the um, uh, diluent and having uh, appropriate size syringe. This is a 10 ml syringe. Making Marix, uh, wet Marix vaccine up from Marix vaccine that's been delivered in an ampule in a wet state, frozen. At this stage, the Marix will be either in dry ice or in um, uh, liquid nitrogen. We have alcohol swabs here for, for cleaning the um, uh, ports before injection. Uh, alcohol can also be used for um, disinfecting. The beauty of alcohol is once it's um, evaporated that there's no residue there as opposed to detergents and other disinfectants. I've got a ampule opener here. Also, we need a method of uh, monitoring the, uh, the, the time, um, especially at the critical time, which is from removing it from the dry ice or the liquid nitrogen, and then putting, um, getting the vaccine into the diluent. Also, we need safety equipment, which includes something so that we can touch the um, ampule that's been in the dry ice or liquid nitrogen and safety glasses are a good idea if you're not wearing glasses um, already. Okay, now the, vac the, amp the preparation of the diluent. So we need to get the diluent bag out here and the diluent comes with uh, two ports, an injection port and a, um, a port for connecting to the, uh, to the draw off tube. And what we need to do is um, using an 18 gauge needle, a big diameter needle, what we need to do is then put this into the um, injection port and, and get off some um, uh, diluent for making it up. And we need about five mils. Right. The water bath needs to be 28 degrees, give or take a degree. Once we've got the water bath set up, then we get the ampule out of the out of the um, dry ice or liquid nitrogen, and we want to keep this stage down to less than 10 seconds. We put the um, the vaccine in there and start the timer going. What we need now is need to be able to go but less than 90 seconds to getting it into the diluent in the syringe. Okay. So for it takes about 80 seconds to go to be like a um, slush puppy inside. Okay. And now what we do is we dry the outside flick it to make get all of the vaccine down into the top and then we break the ampule open. Okay, immediately we start putting in uh, some diluent and it, you can see, and then we take some back up again and then we wash the sides of it with the diluent. Okay, at this stage we've gone about a hundred seconds and so um, we, having this stuff in the diluent is fine. We wanted to have it in less than 90 seconds in there. And then we push the diluent slowly into the bag. And we can draw it back in here. as well. So the vaccine's been made up now.
here's one I've prepared earlier. We can then take the blue cover off the um, off the port here, the blue cover off, and put the spike in, uncover the spike, uh, it comes with a plastic guard to keep it sterile, and push it into here, making sure at the time that um, we have got the uh, clamp on to stop it moving there. We want about this much um, uh, vac uh, fluid in the vaccine so that we can see drips as we administer it uh, coming through there. Next thing would be to un uh, connect it up here to the uh, vaccine gun here. The vaccine gun and to prime the um, vaccine down there we turn this off and then we keep the vaccine up and put a needle on the end of here and this is a smaller needle and the injection will go through the needle we're doing about 0.2 to 0.4 mils we're going to inject into the chicken. Um, if you have to be careful opening the uh, vials because the um, it can make a little bit of glass up here, and you've got to keep your thumb out of the way, otherwise you'll cut your thumb. Or if you're not that brave. You can actually use an ampule breaker. Here we have a uh, ampule, and we put it into the ampule breaker, and the ampule can be broken um, uh, like that. That's another way, and then the top is just ejected. Glass and needles at the end should be put into a sharps container and disposed of.